Today, we're looking into professional stool pigeon Takashi69 getting arrested in the Dominican Republic on charges of domestic abuse. An American Airlines employee was caught filming a 14-year-old passenger in the bathroom, and a New York midwife is being charged $300,000 for falsifying immunization records for roughly 1,500 children. All in this WTF-filled episode of... What's going on, internet people? Welcome back to another strange and infuriating conversation. Now, before we get started, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our updates. And Alice, let's go with the uh, celebrity story first. Takashi 69 has been arrested in the Dominican Republic on charges of domestic violence. The 27-year-old real name Daniel Hernandez is currently being held in jail in Santo Domingo. He is scheduled for a court appearance on Thursday, where a judge will determine if he remains in custody or is released on bond. So, in some breaking but unsurprising news, Takashi69 has yet again been arrested. The rainbow-maned rapper was busted in the Dominican Republic for attempting to transport a cornucopia of illegal substances on his private jet, so this latest arrest is just another chapter in Takashi's never-ending saga of legal woes. Now, let's rewind and provide some context on his rap sheet so far. Flashback to 2015, a fresh-faced Takashi pled guilty to the felony charge of using a child in a sexual performance. For that, he got four years probation and a whopping 1,000 hours of community service. Fast forward to 2018 when things went from bad to worse. Takashi got indicted on serious federal charges relating to the Nine Trey Gangster Street Game. We're talking about racketeering, conspiracy to commit murder, firearms offense, and tracking everything from heroin to MDMA, facing a minimum of 47 years behind bars. But then, plot twist, he shockingly decided to become a snitch. And that songbird sang his song to everyone that would listen. And, well, it worked. His sentence got knocked down to just two short years thanks to his cooperation. Yeah, wrap your head around that one, because that's a that's a pretty big discount. Now on to the drama. Last year, Takashi was jumped and robbed at a Florida gym in an attempted kidnapping gone wrong. He gave his fans details on Instagram, claiming it was a raw look into the treacherous streets that shaped him. More recently, he was detained overseas for transporting some, uh, let's say, less than legal substances on his private jet. Which brings us to today's arrest in the Dominican Republic. Apparently, Takashi was attempting to fly in with a sizable stash of party favors for another music video. But instead of living la vida loca, Takashi will be chilling behind bars once again. You know, at some point, you just gotta wonder if he just, like, likes being in there. Because why else would he keep finding himself in these crazy situations? Is he just misunderstood? A product of his dangerous environment and poor influences? Or does he revel in being culture's anti-hero, addicted to the controversy, drugs, and danger? Maybe he just loves the headlines and the drama. Drama does make the world go around. The deeper question I have is, uh, how do people like Mr. 69 here keep ending up at the forefront of pop culture? Like, it's honestly kind of perplexing. Like, is it the allure of the bad boy girl image that captivates audiences? Or is it the media's fascination with sensational stories that keep people like him in the limelight? Could it be that society has a hidden appetite for chaos and rebellion? Yes, the answer is yes. It's not hidden, let's be honest. And let's not leave out the music industry's part in all of this. Controversy sells, and artists who often stir the pot see spikes in streaming numbers and social media engagement. Record labels and managers might be less inclined to intervene if the controversy is profitable. profitable? Profitable. 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 I have a video editor. I don't need to speak correctly. But what message does this send to those young, impressionable fans? That being a jackass sells. Just look at the gems coming out of kick. It's honestly more complex than I give it credit for, but one thing is clear. As long as the public's fascination with figures like this continue, they will remain a staple of our pop culture landscape. It's for the worst, people. Stop giving assholes all this money. A 36-year-old American Airlines flight attendant was arrested last September for allegedly trying to record a minor in an airplane bathroom. Well, this just isn't the airline industry's month now, is it? An American Airlines flight attendant has been accused of some seriously creepy behavior, allegedly trying to secretly record a 14-year-old girl using the bathroom during a flight. According to the reports, 36-year-old Estes Carter Thompson convinced this teen to use the first-class lavatory, going in before her and claiming that the toilet bowl was broken, setting the stage for him to hide his iPhone to capture video. The girl noticed something suspicious, took a picture, and alerted her parents after landing. 
Good job, girl. To add to the scenario, a search of Thompson's iCloud revealed that it wasn't an isolated incident, with authorities finding videos of him recording other minors, some as young as seven years old, using airplane bathrooms on previous flights he had worked. Oh, and like over 50 images of sleeping nine-year-olds were also recovered. This man is clearly disturbed and has got some issues, some parent issues he might need to work out there. Well, never mind. He's not going to be able to, is he? Now, when Thompson had suspicions he was caught, he locked himself in his bathroom for several minutes. Yeah, nothing weird about that at all all. You know, totally normal behavior. He was probably feverishly trying to wipe any incriminating evidence before they landed. Even more, he reset his phone before handing it over to the authorities. Which, you might as well have been waving a giant red flag saying, I'm guilty! He probably thought he was clever hiding the videos in his iCloud too, because no one ever finds anything that's in the cloud, right? The extent of Thompson's alleged activities is wild. Having a system that successfully recorded people in airplane bathrooms across multiple flights for months? I mean, the man was basically running his own surveillance op 35,000 feet up in the air. Thompson is now facing multiple federal charges for sexual exploitation and child pornography. Good. Duh. What the fuck? But no amount of jail time is going to undo the trauma inflicted on the victims. Like, who's ever gonna trust the public bathroom or an airplane bathroom ever again? Airplane bathrooms are already a big problem, man. Have you been in one of them lately? Now you're telling me I gotta worry about Jimmy taking a shit and a camera watching me? Last I checked, people paid to see that kind of content. Oh, this man was selling this shit, wasn't he? Don't quote me on that. The only upside here is that he's been removed from any positions allowing access to minors. Just remember, predators can and are hiding in plain sight, and they don't always look like the stereotypical creep. Lastly, we're discussing a significant health violation in New York. A midwife has been fined for falsifying immunization records of numerous children, substituting vaccines with unapproved homeopathic pellets. Okay, so in the wake of New York State's tightening of vaccine exemptions in June 2019, Breen began substituting prescribed vaccines with homeopathic oral pellets. The substitution wasn't only unauthorized, but it was medically unsound as the pellets lacked the approval and recognition of established health authorities like the FDA and CDC. Breen's actions extended to falsifying records of approximately 1,500 children involving over 12,000 immunizations. Affected children, primarily from Long Island, now face the challenge of receiving proper vaccinations, essentially resetting their immunization status. Financially, Breen has been penalized with a $300,000 fine, half of which has already been paid. She's agreed to cease all such activities with the remainder of her fine contingent on her adherence to this agreement. Now, level with me for a second. It's possible that some parents knowingly brought their children to Breen fully aware that she was providing false records. Firstly, the tightening of the vaccine exemptions in New York was a response to the increased public health concerns, particularly around preventable diseases and the increased noise around the anti-vax movement. This policy change might have led some parents who were either skeptical of vaccines or preferred alternative medicines methods to seek out practitioners like Green. The parents might have viewed Breen's methods as a loophole to bypass the new regulations while still ensuring their child could still attend school. However, this decision does come with many risks. By choosing unapproved scientifically unverified treatments, these parents expose their children to potential health risks. Moreover, falsifying medical records undermines the integrity of the public health system and can have broader implications, you know, like outbreaks of diseases and other shit that could have been prevented through vaccines, or at least knowing who got them. Misinformation and misconceptions about vaccines can lead to decisions that not only affect individual families, but also the wider community. And the involvement of a licensed healthcare professional in these kind of activities complicates matters. To say the least. I don't know, I guess. And on that even the elite's lie piece of news, we're going to call it. Hey, look at that! You made it all the way to the end of the video. Congratulations! Your reward is waiting for you. In order to claim it, all you need to do is make sure that you're subscribed and click on that thumbs up button down there. Did you do it? Okay, cool! Bye!